right, so I'm back from shopping and now I'm getting ready to put on the red pea soup. All right, let's get it. All right, so these are the ingredients. I got the red peas, okay, but we, um, American, African Americans, we call them red kidney beans, but in Jamaica, they call it red peas. And I got a piece of yellow um, yam, a piece of yellow yam. Let me take it out the bag. All right, so yellow yam, I got scallion, and then this is thyme, okay? I'm gonna use some coconut milk. And right here I got neck bones, but us and usually um, Jamaicans put like salt beef or pigtail in it, but I won't be using those. I'll be using some neck bones because me and my husband both like meat with bone in it. So that's, a, that's that Southern style right there. So that's what I'll be using in the red pea soup, okay? I still be making Jamaican red pea soup, but I'm gonna emphasize with the, um, with the neck bones because both of us like, you know, the bone. And I got the Magni season salt, the Lari's pepper, and um, pimento seeds, all spiced whole. Okay, but my husband didn't say pimento seeds. So that's what I got. And these are the ingredients for red pea soup, minus <laughs> the neck bones that I will be putting in there. But you know what? It's still going to be red pea soup, toilet cold style, when we don't want salt beef and pig's tail. So let's get it. Get into it, honey. And I forgot, I'll also be using some of this garlic um, powder and the onion flavor as well. Now, a lot of people um, use like beef flavoring, you know, beef cubes and all type of cubes and all of that stuff. But I use these seasonings to um, season my stuff because it makes a good flavor. You just gotta know how much to, um, to do. So I don't really need like uh, beef, cubes and all of that stuff to get the flavor. I know how to use seasonings and mix the flavor that I want and it's going to be good. But like I said, to each their own, everybody has a way that they like to do it, but this is the way, everybody has a way that they like to do it, but this is the way Sister Cole, this is how Sister Cole do it in her kitchen. And baby girl, baby boy, you gotta get into it, honey, cause it's good. It's good to the bone, to the bone marrow of the bone. Oh yeah, and I had to add, add my scotch bonnet pepper as, as well. Throw that in there for a little sting. And did I tell you guys about the sweet potato? No, oh, I don't know, but there you go. Okay, I'm gonna add a little pimento seeds in there too. Pimento berry seeds, whatever way you wanna say it, but I'm gonna add it in the pot also for a nice flavor. All right, so now I'm making sure that I wash off my meat. I got salt and I have vinegar. So I'm making sure that I wash off my meat very, very clean. And now you know my hands are clean because I don't play that. No dirty hands in Twyla's kitchen. No, 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 no dirty hands. All right, so we wash it off the meat. You see me? All right, let's go. All right, guys, I have added the um, peas in the pot so, um, and the um, meat in the pot as well, okay? So I'm gonna let this get like halfway done. So it'll be like going for about 45 to an hour and we're gonna let this get halfway done and then when this is done, we will be adding the food or the uh, ingredients. <laughs> I laugh because my husband would say food. They call potatoes and stuff like that food, so. Um, Okay, but us Americans, I'm gonna put my ingredients, my other ingredients in. After this is half done, I'm gonna put the um, the potatoes and stuff like that inside the pot, and I'm going to season it with the other seasonings. Okay, so it will cook. That will cook. Um, the remainder will cook like that with everything in it with the seasoning. But as for now, let's uh, let it cook, and we'll and I'll be right back. All right, so opened up my pot. This is what it's looking like. It's coming along really nice, really nice. All right, so now I'm gonna add the different um, potatoes and stuff inside of the pot. All right, I'm gonna add the coconut milk to the pot. Oops. Stir it up. And then we're gonna let this cook, let the potatoes and everything cook. 
All right, so I had already added all the seasonings. I put the seasonings in there as well. All right, guys, I went ahead and I added another can of um, coconut milk because the the size of the um, pot, the soup. So I went ahead and added one more because it wasn't enough. And I think I'm gonna chop a little bit of onions up in here as well. All right, so I'm getting ready to knead um, the flour right here uh, to make some dumplings to go inside of the red pea soup. Today, I'm not even gonna make the big um, round dumplings. I'm just gonna do spinners. All right, so inside of um, the dumpling, all you're using is the flour, the water, and add a little salt, okay? And then you knead it. Okay, so now I'm gonna add a little, a little salt. All right. Okay, so as you can see, I'm kneading up the flour, okay? Added some water and now I'm kneading it up. I can make it a whole lot, okay, just enough. All right, so there's the flour, it's all kneaded and then I will um, put it inside the soup later on and I'm gonna do spinners and I'll show you what we call spinners. It's just really spinning the dough. All right, so this is a spinner. This I rolled the dough up like this and that's called the spinner, all right? So that's the dumpling that I'm putting in the pots now. So I'm gonna roll them all up like this. Okay, look at this. Come on now, look at this. The red pea soup already done. Look at that. Yeah, if y'all could smell it and taste it, honestly, you would never be the same. You would never be the same. Get into it, baby. Come on now, don't play with Sister Cole. That's that Sister Cole's style red pea soup. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir.